Hey audio nerds, it's Rachel from Reverb. So you've got a decent audio interface, you've got some nice microphones, what's the next piece of gear that's gonna help take your recordings to the next level? An external mic preamp, of course, and so that's what we're gonna talk about today. Mic preamps are those cool little boxes that amplify low level signal to line level. Typically, external mic pre's have high sound quality, low noise, more gain, and other features that you wouldn't typically find on your audio interface. The other reason many people use external mic pre's are to get a different sound quality, color, or characteristic out of the preamp that you don't normally get in your audio interface. A lot of the really famous mic preamps, like the Neve 1073 or the API 3124, aren't necessarily cheap. But good news for you, there's a lot of really affordable options, new and used, that are on Reverb. Today, we're gonna take a look at 15 different options that you don't have to sell your car to afford. But first, let's take a look at some things to consider. First thing to consider is number of channels. If you're only recording one or two things at once, you could probably save some money and buy just a one to two channel preamp that can be your golden channel preamp that you put on pretty much everything. If you're looking to record a drum kit, you'll probably want to look into four to eight channel preamps. And of course, the price is going to be influenced by the number of preamps. Next thing to consider is tube versus solid state. There's a myth out there that tubes are better than solid state. That's not true. Both are really great tools and they have their own sound quality and characteristics as well as application that make them great for different things. Solid state preamps have low noise, they're really clean and articulate and very true to the source. Typically, solid state preamps are not used to get that warm distortion sound. The distortion that comes from solid state pre's sounds a little bit more like clipping, but if you're looking for something that's really true to the source and clean and clear, solid state is the move for you. Tube amps are usually associated with that thicker bass, airy high end, and warm mid range that can be considered vintage sounding. They also have sort of a natural compression to them, and as you drive the input, they can add some harmonic saturation that can be really musical and interesting on top of what you're recording. The only downside to tube amps is that they may require more maintenance due to the components inside. Next thing to consider is transformers. Just like tubes, transformers can add a color or sound to your preamp. So if you're looking to have a variety of different characteristics in your preamp collection, take a look at different transformer options. If you're looking for a really clean, pristine sound, look for preamps that don't have transformers. Last thing to note, many preamps will come with features like a high-pass filter, decibel pads, and DI or high z inputs for instruments. If you're someone who likes to dial in the final tones on the way in, consider preamps that have onboard EQ or dynamics. Also, if you want to send your signal to multiple sources without bringing in latency on the old computer box, consider a preamp with multiple outputs. All right, let's get into some preamps. It's important to think about your space and the form factor when considering different preamps. If you just need a one to two channel preamp that's easy to move, consider some desktop preamps. The Focusrite ISA-1 is a super flexible solid state preamp, great for a wide variety of microphones because of the multiple selectable impedances. A Qmix input and headphone jack also provide a clever way to achieve zero latency monitoring on any system even with older, slower interfaces. The Docking Mic Pre 1 features a Jensen input transformer and a Class A discrete transistor preamp with a single-sided power supply. The Mic Pre 1 features a powerful, continuously variable high-pass filter with a range of 10 to 200 hertz. The Universal Audio 710 Twinfinity is a hybrid preamp that allows you to select a solid-state circuit or a tube circuit, and even blend between the two. The tonal possibilities of this desktop unit are extremely versatile. The 710 is also a world-class DI box that allows you to add flavor to even the most mundane sound sources, like a DI'd bass or electric piano. The PreSonus BlueTube V2 is extremely flexible and affordable. This two-channel desktop preamp allows you to dial in just the right amount of harmonic content to your signal using the blendable tube drive circuit. There are also two outputs per channel, which allow you to send signal to multiple sources before it ever touches the computer. Love that classic Neve 1073 tone, but don't have the cash for a vintage unit? Check out the Golden Age Pre 73. This recreation of the classic circuit is a perfect place to start experimenting with overdriving the input stage of your preamp 
while using the output knob to control the overall level that hits your interface or A to D converter. It can also be expanded to a rack mount setup with a kit if you ever want that option in the future. A 500 series rack is a really great way to save space and allow you to expand your outboard gear collection. If you're looking to get started on that collection, here are some 500 series options. The DBX 580 is a great option for folks looking to break into the 500 series world on a tight budget. With high and low pass filters, as well as high and low frequency equalization, front panel DI, and VU metering, this solid state single channel pre has everything you need to get started. The Radial Power Pre 500 is designed for clean low noise operation with an AccuState input stage which automatically optimizes signal to noise at all levels with up to 55 dB of gain available. A Hammond broadcast transformer on the output provides vintage warmth and a classic smooth tone and a Vox switch allows you to add extra air, harmonic content, or body to the signal to accentuate various instruments. Black Lion Gear has a reputation for producing really fantastic sounding professional results on a modest budget. The Autour Mark II features an ultra fast input stage that captures lots of detail and nuance, and a signal path transformer that adds some weight to the signal on the way out. Originally sold as DIY kits, you can find plenty of pre assembled Cappy 500 series mic preamps on Reverb at amazing prices. If you love the sound of vintage API gear but don't have the funds for it, look no further. Professional engineers and recording hobbyists alike constantly scream their praises and even choose them over much more expensive preamps consistently. The Rupert Neve Designs 511 mic pre-module puts the portico sound into your 500 series rack. With 72 dB of available gain and variable texture and silk control, the 511 interfaces beautifully with any microphone and lets you dial in exactly as much or as little extra harmonic love as you want. If you're looking to fill your rack space, or you want options with more than one to two preamps, take a look at these rack mounted options. Boasting a whopping 150 ohms to 2400 ohms variable impedance selector, the Art Pro MPA2 is a great choice for those who want to experiment with a lot of different microphones. This two channel unit is also packed with tons of not so common features, such as a mid side miking mode and selectable plate voltage. Warm Audio's Tone Beast is all about color. With selectable transformers and signal paths, the single channel preamp with EQ and saturation controls is great for the home recordist who wants to start experimenting with a vast array of tonal possibilities on the way into their DAW, also available in a 500 series format. If more channels is what you're after, the Focusrite OctoPre is a fantastic choice for getting eight great mic pre's on a budget. This is also a great choice for drummers looking to break into the world of miking their own entire kit. Manufactured by famous console manufacturer Neotech, the SciTech MPX4A is a four channel unit that allows you to achieve awesome, consistent, clean results time after time. Legendary producer Steve Albini is a huge fan of these preamps, and you can hear them used on a plethora of amazing recordings from his collection. With the Audient ASP880, Audient has managed to fit more features into a single rack space unit than the world has ever seen. Not only does it boast eight Audient mic preamps as well as eight channels of Burr Brown conversion, but each channel also has a variable high pass filter, insert points, pad, phase reverse, and three selectable impedances. So there's 15 awesome preamp options that won't break your bank. If there's one you're really loving that I didn't mention, let me know in the comments. Until next time.